Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here, and welcome to a calm, late night version of Survivor Craft. The reason I say that is because it's very late at night in real life, because I meant to record this episode about two hours ago, but um, Shadowplay broke. I was using the Shadowplay recording software, which is part of NVIDIA, and there were two updates to my drivers in two days and both updates broke shadow play more and more so before we set off on our adventure it's going to be a very very short adventure and therefore a short episode i actually need to wait for the next morning to go on the adventure because i need to sleep so i'm briefly going to talk about some nerdy stuff so if you want to skip ahead look at the time on the bottom of your screen to skip ahead to the adventure otherwise if you want to listen to the nerdy stuff Let's talk about nerdy stuff. So the first thing that broke is of course I record in 4K and I was using Shadowplay because it was working out pretty well with no performance hit. But after an update, if you notice the previous video, the bottom of my screen was cut off. And when I troubleshot and eliminated variables, it was Shadowplay cutting off anything recorded in 4K. So of course that isn't acceptable. So I did some tests in 1440p and I was ready to make concessions, but then my NVIDIA drivers updated again. And I suddenly was unable to record Minecraft. I could record my desktop and I could record Minecraft in a Windows windowed version, but I'd have to crop everything and it would distort the pixels and it would look terrible. So I reinstalled Bandicam and I actually am quite, quite pleased because there is a huge performance hit in 4K with Bandicam, but it doesn't affect my Minecraft because my Minecraft is V-Synced to 30 frames right now. But even if I took V-Sync off, we're running in the 50s. And then if I record with Bandicam, I'm running in the 40s. But we're syncing it up to the modern in the 30s, so it doesn't matter. So I got my full screen back, no performance hit. And another benefit of Bandicam is that my game audio does not lose sync with the game video, which was happening in Shadowplay. I was constantly editing every couple minutes and moving audio over so it would line up with the game. It was a lot of disaster. And my audio sounds awesome again because I don't need to use two different pieces of software to record my audio. My microphone sounds much better because of the software component. The only thing is now I have to tweak my microphone because now it sounds like I'm very, very close to the microphone. So I'm readjusting my microphone again, adjusting microphone levels in Windows and the gain on the microphone itself again. But that's okay. I never say stagnant. I'm always adjusting things and starting over because even if you have something tweaked, it never hurts to go back and check out your settings and tweak things again. And that is what I'm gonna be doing through the next couple videos. But otherwise, I am completely excited to use Bandicam again. The reason why I stopped using it was because the performance hit in my flight simulator. But you know what? I do my flight simulator differently than I did a couple months ago, so it shouldn't really matter. I did some tests there as well. But this isn't about the flight simulator. This is about Minecraft. This is about an adventure that's going to start soon. I'm just looking at that sun. So anyway, there's the nerdy stuff. I don't think there's any nerdy things to keep saying. Oh, the only caveat with Bandicam is that if I click out of the window, it'll corrupt my recording. So if I need to adjust Discord levels when we're doing a group video, I have to stop the recording, adjust my vid my levels, restart the recording, which I guess isn't that big of a deal because I'd be editing that out anyway. Um, oh, that was another downside to Shadowplay. The Discord audio would not stay in sync because Shadowplay was always variable frame rate. So if I did something and it would slow down or speed up Shadowplay, the Discord audio would get off. So I would have game video, game audio, and Discord audio at different times, and I couldn't adjust them. <laughs> with each other. So if you remember the Christmas Village video, if you rewatch that, you might notice that the game audio and the voice audio don't line up at all, and I couldn't do anything about it. So that's another benefit to not using Shadowplay. So I'm kind of sad because I like, you know, 
shadow play it was fun while it lasted but bandy cam is so much better and i paid for it years ago so i'm getting my money's worth let's see here so no more nerdy stuff if you have any questions ask me in discord or in comments but um i'm back to using bandy cam in 4k i'm very excited and we still have half a day left so there is something i wanted to do before we go on our adventure and that is to show you a gift from queen Stan our friend over in Europe, one of our many friends over in Europe, but um, he is known for building the gigantic churches and similar type buildings. I'm completely drawing a blank on what they're called because it's super late at night. I was supposed to be in bed like three hours ago. Um, anyway, he builds the churches all over the server and he builds organs all over the server and is our gift. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. He built us a nine-note organ without a shell. So that is the organ that we're going to put a shell around it. We're going to build something around it. And that is going to help set the theme for this area. So I haven't decided if I'm just going to build like an organ building around it or make it into a house, like a mansion. I haven't decided yet. And I'm actually too scared to go down there because of monsters that spawn at night and then they hide under the trees but I just wanted to show you this organ um, hmm, I think we need to go down there how much daylight do we have left I think we need to go down there super fast I don't really want to tell you how it's tuned yet though until I play a song on it but um, let's see because this video started halfway through a day whoops or at the beginning of a day, I guess. And we need to sleep before we're going to adventure. I think we have time to come over here and check it out super fast. And then we will have a full episode on this organ. And then we will build an organ house, perhaps. Or a large house with an organ room or something. And I was told to be careful of the caves down here. That monsters have been coming out while he was building the cave. And he said the organ will entertain them. Um, I don't see any monsters, so let's just take a moment here. Where is... Okay, so we need to build, like, steps to get up. Because there's the chair. That's the chair you sit on. Should I play a few notes? Are we going to get disturbed and blown up by a creeper? Alright, let's see if we can figure out how this thing is tuned. I do have to skip a note, though. I missed a note. <laughs> I have to learn this myself. So what it is, it's a blue scale but mixed in with major and minor. So you've got one, flat three, natural three, four, flat five, five, flat seven, tonic, and then nine. Although it didn't sound like that because I was trying to be fancy. So what it is, is it's a blue scale with a major third in there so you can either do a turn around or resolve the blues. So if we go from here and up, let's just skip that one. Yeah, so what he can do then is come down here, major to the four, to the five, to the th minor third of the tonic. You get the idea. I'll practice it. Um, even though I've been playing piano my whole life, it's a little different to push buttons, but it's there. And it's right. So, very cool. We will build something around that and we'll have a full episode on that organ. I was really excited to see it from the outside. And I think it's a double rank, too. So, um, I don't know if it's come out to get us yet. So, you have two notes per note in octaves. So, anyway, I completely just made a fool of myself. I was actually going to practice for that before I played that for you. But, I guess secrets out cats out of the bag and you know what this crafting table has been here since the first day of the server we're getting rid of that thing so anyway, there's the organ from queen stan like i said i intended on practicing before i even touched it or before i turned on the video but um so be it you got a little sneak peek we will have a polished performance soon 
and a building episode where we build around it, and that'll help set the theme for the rest of this area, I think. And did day stop? Because this day is getting really long. I guess not. Anyway. So anyway, I'm going to head back. Instead of wasting your time and blabbing for another half an hour, I'm going to go in, sleep, and then when night is mostly over... Oh, we got another wolf. When night is mostly over, we'll head on to our adventure. Like I said, it's only going to be a few minute adventure. It's going to be a super quick one, but I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. And I'll tell you what we're doing once we're on the way, because I'll have to talk about something while we walk there. So anyway, I want to hop in bed here. And I will catch you about halfway through the night. All right, so we just had a good night's nap. I believe that nighttime is halfway over. Just about. So we are going to go on our journey, which means a trip through the nether. And once we're in the nether, I'll tell you where it is that we're going. But I just want to um, check my mailboxes first, because you never know when we're going to get mail except I never expect anything in this mailbox because people would have to go quite a ways in the overworld to get to us, and most people use another. So, um, oh yeah, this is my supplies for finishing that phase one area, which will be a video about very soon. But otherwise, let's hop into the nether, check the mailbox. And, whoa. Um... Aw, it's a puppy, it's a kitty, and it's a horse. This is from Lady Hunter. I was told that there were three gifts for me in the nether hub, but this is my nether base. Oh, the cat will replace the cat that got struck by lightning, and a puppy, and a horse. Not sure how I'm going to get the horse out of my base, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Well, this is a wonderful surprise. Very cool. I do want to check my other mailbox, though, buddy. I can't, because you're in the way. So, is this gifted to me? It is. Okay. So, it's been gifted to me. Like, give pet. Oh, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you're just going to... You're just going to sit on chest, because that's what cats do. And you will have to ride you back. Okay. Very cool. Thank you very much, Lady Hunter. I'm so excited to have those animals to add. Oh, gifts by Lady Hunter. We have a book. Let's see what it says. Hey, Turtle, I heard I watched your latest vid and heard you lost a cat. So I'm going to give you a cat plus a dog to help out around your place. Hope you like them. I only named them so you know they're yours. Sincerely, Lady Hunter. Well, thank you very much, Lady Hunter. Greatly appreciated. Yes, I did. I lost my cat in a lightning storm. And, um,. I will bring you guys back to the overworld a little bit later, but it's about to be daytime, so we have to get on our journey. Should I take you guys with me on our journey? I'll take I'll take you with me. I normally don't take pets with me, but I think this time I will. You are going to stay there, I hope. I think you're in a seated position. We'll find out. Um, and then you, we will figure out how to ride into the overworld soon wow what a pleasant surprise okay so the dog should come with but i hope the cat stays there oh shoot you sit we will we'll get you back we'll get you back later all right here we go puppy have to get you a name you're lucky i normally don't bring pets with me you coming so anyway when we first got down a map which is months ago now I was looking around, and I found this gigantic, huge structure. And um, I've never been there. I don't know what it is. I have an idea what it is now because I've asked around. And apparently there was an event at this structure at one time. But I wasn't part of the event because there was a short period of time when I missed a couple events due to real life things. So anyway, everyone else on the server has been to this place. Oh, you're not are you going to come through the portal with me? Will you teleport to the overworld? How does that work? Or do you get stuck in the nether? I don't know how that works. If you get stuck in the nether and you'll wait, or if you teleport. I'm just going to push you through, and I'll see you on the other side here, buddy. Come on. And then i got to finish my 
my forward here. My pre well, that. Okay, I'm coming with. Hang on, here I come. Alright, buddy, don't teleport. Nope. I mean, don't go back through the portal. Coming with? Come on. Come on. Anyway, so there's this big structure on the server. And apparently everybody's been there except me. And um, I wanted to check it out. There you are. Okay, come on, let's go. And I wanted to check it out. Oh, that, no, that can't be a skeleton trap. There's a saddle on it. And there's 10 blocks and it did not explode. Okay. Come on, puppy. Come on. He's a kind of a, kind of a lazy puppy. All right, anyway. So there's this giant structure on the server. Apparently everybody's been there but me. And I just wanted to check it out. And I've been planning to do this for many months. I just haven't had time. And so that's what we're going to do today. So again, it would be a short episode. But I did that little organ sneak peek. Which is fine. Fun to always... There you are. Fun to always um, improvise a little bit when I'm recording. So anyway, we are going to... There's creators facade never built up we're gonna scoot through all this stuff that we have seen before and we're going to um check this thing out so we're just heading north out of spawn and we did a tour of this area with lady vivian not too long ago i think this is frog riders area somewhere around here frog riders house and um I'm just going to check this out without what's this and see Shelby stilt I'm going to check things out along the way and puppy is not with me whatever he'll teleport just check out things along the way but I just want to check what this big thing is I was also told there's another fun little surprise nearby and then there's a th third little thing I wanted I'm lost already um, then there's a third little thing I wanted to check out too so we have an agenda. It's a very simple agenda, but we'll get there. Checking things out along the way. We have seen all this before when we were with Lady Vivian. And where's the dog and puppy? I think if we get too far ahead and they're in a different chunk, they're gonna wait in the other chunk. Um, hmm. Oh, well, I'm not terribly worried. We were here with Lady Vivian too. We went on a little roller coaster, and then we stopped here. So. We're gonna keep going. We have to cross two rivers. This is the first river. What does that sign say? This way to spawn. This is the first river here to cross. And oh, there he is. Thank you. He just probably had to stop and go to the bathroom or something. He's looking for a fire hydrant. And then, oh, Punchwood Zoo. Wait, I don't know about this. What is this? This is all new stuff. See, detours, like I've said many, many times before, I plan an episode and then I allow myself to go on detours because in real life I'm so organized and everything that it's nice to have an escape and not be so organized. Oh, cats. Cute. This is awesome. Very cool. Oh, uh, there's more stuff here? I'm just worried about like the whole daytime thing. Royal rump. Spies. Throw an egg at the spies. Looks like everybody's safe. Oh, there's some there. Panda's coming soon in 114. Turtles and staff only. Pink sheep. Wasn't that cool and unexpected. Alrighty, come on, buddy. I gotta get you a name. It's fun having a dog come with I should bring my pets with more often when I travel I usually don't because of the risk of them dying but you know what I can live a little horses of all different kinds and donkeys and llamas alrighty anyway we are on a mission because the Sun does go down on Minecraft and spooky things scare me because I get so immersed in the game <laughs> that I freak out a little bit they're starting to render and the thing we're gonna look at Allen's Farm, Froggy Town. All right, so I think Froggy Town is this way, but that's not where we're going. Froggy Town ahead. Uh, what's that? Okay, you know what? Let's super quickly check off Froggy Town. Again, another super quick detour. We have the time. 
Oh, it's going to rain. Oh, dude, I was worried about it raining. Because now it's the same as being at in the dark. In the dark. Welcome to Froggy Town Shopping District. Well, this is cool. I've never been here before. Remember, I did say I'm going to start touring parts of the server. Because there's just so much. So I'm going to be brave and not be scared of the rain. Hopping Frog Cafe. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and we got Jump Boost. Awesome. What's over there? More town stuff? Let's see, I'm going to start walking slowly now. At least with the dog around, he'll get the zombies for me. And skeletons. Huh. Cool. That's all that stuff. See, there's way more stuff here than I thought there would be. Cool road. Hey, puppy. Yep, I got... Oh, I didn't bring much food. That's okay. If we end up fighting stuff, we could have some issues. We're looking for that big tree, too. Or something i'll tell you when we get to it all right let's back out of froggy town wow look at spawn because my render distance is so far look at that i guess those are just trees but <laughs> crazy i was gonna crank up my render distance even further to be honest but then you don't get to enjoy the fog look at that yeah that's spawn look yeah i know what that is that's spawn wow we can see spawn from here all righty let's go back on task though doggone rain i'm very frustrated about this rain oh well um keep going back i guess and go down this road and this is a big thing i wanted to check out because it's absolutely gigantic i think it's some type of farms or something although i really don't know but it must be some type of farm thing oh look at that if we go down there, it looks like we're not getting back out. So let's not go down there. But we're going to be stuck here, though. Um, yeah, you keep watching for monsters while I trample somebody's yard. Um, man, I hate the rain because it makes light level zero. So basically, it's the same as being out at night. Um, okay, so... Okay, he's shaking. That's my puppy. Scared me a little bit there, buddy. Apparently, I don't know how to get in here. Maybe I shouldn't be trampling. So, just want to check this thing out. I've been looking at this on the map for so long. Can I get through here? We're also going to do that trampoline, too, by the way. That's what that is. I was told to check that out. Here we go. Let's see what this crazy structure is. Goodness, it's so big that it doesn't even all render in. Okay. Huh, at least it's lit up now. So is this just a bunch of farms? So there's wheat. Whoa, I don't mean to go in. Okay, so we got carrots here. These are all my textures, by the way. In case you're wondering, I haven't mentioned in a while. In case you're wondering, I'm running Silder Shaders. And then I'm running... Um, the Red Craft one, I'm sorry, the Red Craft Smooth Realism Texture Pack that I poured it over to 113 myself. And then I'll port it over to 114 once it's time. And then, on top of that, since it hasn't been updated since like 111 or something, I have my own texture pack running on top of that. Which I may or may not continue to update with 114 there's so many new blocks um we'll see i was also thinking once 114 is final that i'll just keep the shaders and drop the texture pack no texture packs just shaders we'll see we'll see i'm liking the new 114 default textures so much that i might just um use default hey puppy yeah there you go Oh, wow, this is so cool. So even though this is just farms, it's super cool to look at. So I'm very glad we came here. Oh, my gosh, there's more rendering in. We can't even cap capture the whole thing at once. Isn't this cool? Think about how many blocks this is to build this. I have no idea whose this is. So if you know, if you're a survivor and you know, please tell me in the comments whose this is. Because I have no idea. I'm sure someone told me at one time. I just don't remember. My gosh, it goes up even higher. And it's clearly not complete either. Huh. I'm kind of scared. Okay, my palms are starting to sweat being up this high. I know it's just a game. 
Ooh, looks like the stairs there. This was going to go higher at one point. Wow. Look at that. So that's where we were because we rendered in those chunks. In my render distance, we'll see them. And then it kind of stops because we didn't render those chunks. This is crazy. And super awesome. Good. I'm super glad I took a moment to come here, even though I know it's just farms. So I'm very glad. How are we going to get down? Okay, can we go down here as long as we don't walk off the edge? And hopefully my puppy doesn't fall down. Hopefully he's smart enough. But he doesn't jump off. All right, here we go. I'm feeling better about this now. Cool. All righty, well... Do we want to wait for... Well, the rain's not going to stop until night. What's going to happen is it's going to be night. Then the rain will stop, and then we'll be stuck at night. So let's just continue going on what we were going to do, even though it's raining. And this tree here is supposed to be a trampoline, or like a bounce house trampoline at the bottom, I guess. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm stepping on the thing. So let's check that out. Is my puppy still with us somewhere? Because we might need him to fight some monsters for us out here. Alrighty, so I think we can jump up this third. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, I thought we maybe had to climb the vines. Let's check this out first. Does it say anything? Bridge road in from Iron Armor, future build where we work as needed. Lyara Rain. Jump from above if you dare. You stay. I'm going to put you right here because what's going to happen is you're going to teleport to the top of this and fall. So, oh yeah, we do climb up vines. See, I knew we were going to climb up vines. So I could just tell. So let's go up here and see. Oh my goodness, just don't fall down after you're climbing. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm not going to look down. Although in real life, I'm more afraid of looking up. For example, Mall of America. We live, I live right by the Mall of America, so we go there all the time. That's like our local mall. Uh, yikes. Okay, I just had a little heart attack. Run, jump from yellow carpet. Aim for checkers. Um, this is petrifying. What are we, where are we going down to? If I go down here. I'm freaking out because I don't know what this is. Hang on. I want to look first and then we'll jump. Anyway. Um, oh boy. I don't like this at all. What are we aiming for? The checkers. Yeah, I can jump off of here, but if I jump off of the carpet... Um, I guess I should jump off of the carpet. Oh my gosh, I might die. I might have my second death on the server from this thing. Oh, this is scaring me. Run and jump. Oh boy, here we go. Ready? Get ready for my second death. Run and jump. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, we're going to make it. I made it. I didn't die. Oh, okay. This is me freaking out. <laughs> I did it. I didn't chicken out. I, I didn't cheat and jump off the edge actually jumped off the carpet and we're stuck on slime okay that was scary that was really scary but we did it okay now to finish my story as we go on to the next thing i wanted to show you but shoot we have to leave i can't remember shoot 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 i might have to pull up the map to remember how to get out of here to where we need to go um because it's not the next place you're going to go, the fun little thing, you can't just get there from here. So let me look up where I'm going, and I'll tell you my story. Okay, I know where we're going now. Come with me, puppy. You coming with me? You're stuck. So anyway, I can't look up. I can look down, but I can't look up. I know that sounds strange, but it's true. So Mall America, we live by the Mall America, and there's a rotunda area where you go up on the fourth floor and I can look down over the edge just fine that's not a problem but I can't look up when I'm at the top because then I see how high I am so for example if you're on the floor and you look up you're like wow that's really up there and then when you come with me puppy so anyway you're on the ground you look up 
and you think, wow, that's really high up there. But then all of a sudden you find yourself up there and then I realize how high I am and that's when I freak out. So that's why looking up scares me, not down. And I've always been that way. Like when I was a little kid, we had this really high homemade, home designed jungle gym in the backyard. And I was, you know, fine looking over the edge or whatever. And, but as soon as I would look up, I'd freak out from the top. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but that's the truth and I'm sticking to it. Look at that thing. So yes, even though it's just farms, I'm so glad I came out here because that is the coolest looking thing ever. And the sun is going to set soon, so it's going to be dark and raining. Oof -da. So I think if we go through here, this should connect to a road. I think. And there's something else I wanted to see. Oh, I don't know if this is going to get us where we need to go. Are you coming with, puppy? This is kind of freaking me out too here. I'm just going to trust myself, and I'm going to um, see if this takes us where I want to go. Come on, doggy. I don't know where you went. Maybe you're in the water somewhere. But a lot of work, man. A lot of work goes into this stuff. Okay. It's going to get night soon and raining, and the turtle is out. Oh, man. And in a swamp. Ugh. So the tall turtle is out in the rain at night. Oh, man. My heart's racing. I just take this so seriously. Like the immersion, I just get so into it that this just really freaks me out. Oh my gosh. When I'm with people, I don't care. I'm totally fine when I'm with people. In fact, I love the danger when I'm with people. But by myself like this, this is scaring me. But there's one more thing I wanted to check out super fast. Oh, you might also notice I turned off the... um. Oh, now we're in a roof force to oh golly three things freaking me out the rain the night and a roof forest this is not good but anyway you might notice i turned the rain droplets off the camera in my shaders it was driving me crazy and i finally found the setting here you go this is what i wanted to see i saw this on the server too on the map it's a football helmet i th i had i looked it up ahead of time i think that's the pittsburgh steelers i don't really know but it's something so anyway, I don't know where my puppy went. He's probably stuck in another chunk. I'm going to have to walk slowly so that he catches me. Anyway, this is what I wanted to do. I hope that's not terribly anticlimactic. But this was my plan. I think what I'm going to do is find a house to stay in for the night so that I can stay safe and walk back. Because if I teleport home... I think my dog is going to get stuck in this chunk until I come back to get it. So I don't want to teleport home. Um, I need to walk home. But it's going to be a while. What does this say? And I'm not walking back in the dark. The residence of Malamak. I don't even know who that is. I guess I can inspect it. See how long since they've been here. But I don't need to be nosy. I'm just looking for a place to hide for the night. Because look. The, oh, see, stop raining. But it's nighttime. I told you that's exactly what would happen. And my puppy still isn't caught up because he's stuck in a chunk over there somewhere. So where can I hide for the night? Anybody? Any place for a weary traveler? Can I hide in here? Is it claimed? Oh, bummer. It's claimed. So I can't even go in there and hide. Oh, well. Hmm. Maybe their claim didn't go very far and I can go somewhere else? Let's see. Nope, I have a feeling that's her entire claim. So I am kind of in a pickle. I'm just going to have to walk around for seven minutes because our nights are doubled on the server. And actually, not seven, 14. Because normal night is seven. Ooh, can I go in here? Ooh, maybe I can go in there and just hide for a while. Let's see. Yes, I can. I can hide right here. Ooh, can I go upstairs? Hey. Nice. I guess I could sleep there, but that's not going to do any good. Oh, that's open. Alrighty, I'm going to hide here. And normally, I would end the episode like this and this, like, go home. But because it's kind of a short type episode, kind of, 
Actually, no, it isn't, but whatever. <laughs> it feels short. And I want to get my dog back because he's stuck in a chunk. I think I'm just going to wait out the night and I'll keep the episode going and we'll walk back to spawn. I at least walk back to spawn together. And um, that's what we'll do. So I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit and I'll catch you in the in that daybreak. And the moon is about to set. And I was checking out this building on a hill here, which is probably only half rendered in. I wonder what that is. Anyway. I was chatting with people about my dog and how he is stuck in a chunk somewhere. So we're going to go find my dog. And then we're going to see if we can get him home somehow. Otherwise, this has been a super enjoyable episode because not only am I exploring some things on the server that I found randomly. Ooh, what's that? But I, um, whoa. But I, um, am back to using Bandicam and my voice of just getting over sick and my new high-end audio my high quality audio i'm so glad because the shadow play audio was terrible and come on puppy teleport to me the shadow play audio was terrible and even using my sound forge to make up for it wasn't the best all right i'm really worried i'm just gonna run out of this woods here but I'm walking at normal speed because I want my dog to pop back in and teleport back to me. Otherwise, if I did lose him, he will show up at some point in time when I log back in. That seems to be how that works on the server. Same thing with the beta server. People were losing their pets, and then they would just show up a couple days later. For example, on the beta server, I lost my dog. I could hear him, but I lost him. And then um, I logged in one day and he was sitting next to my bed in my base. So, yeah, I don't know where this dog went. I'm hoping by walking slowly, he'll teleport back to me. Otherwise, if he doesn't, he will show up. I guarantee it. So it's not like he died or he got lost. It's just the mechanics of pets on this server. And I don't know if, what it is, but just like I mentioned, the beta server was the same way. Everyone was losing pets. That's just what would happen, and then they'd just show up. So, let's see. Where was the last time we saw him? Look at that helmet, still there. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, what's it before this bridge? So hopefully he'll show up any minute now. Otherwise, we get to see this area. Um, oh, there he is. See, told you. We'll see the area without the rain. So how fun is that? Okay, so I'm gonna walk slowly here so that we don't lose him. And then I gotta get him back through the portal. And then I gotta get him back to my base. Ugh. Where'd he go? Um, see that's the thing. There he, are you gonna teleport to me or what? See the render distance for animals? Mobs is very short. So even though my render distance, so the server has its render distance, which is default. And then I have my render distance on my local machine, which will keep the server filled in after you've rendered it. But then we have the animal render distance, which um, is very short. So they like to go out of view. For example, when I'm at my tower on my base, you can't see my chickens. They don't render in. Dude, see... How do I get him to teleport to me so I can get home? And we no longer have a puppy. Where did he go? Darn it, he was behind us. Oh boy, let's see how far away he went. And then I think we might have to end the episode because a quick episode has suddenly become a very long episode. But that's normal. That's part for the course. I just want my dog to come with because this is becoming a lot of work. <laughs> Bringing dogs around on the server, or pets around on the server is kind of, um, where'd he go? Because he was, he was with me here, I think. I was watching him. I had my eye on him. Oh, there he goes. There he teleported. Okay. So let's see if I can do this from here. I don't know if this is going to work. But, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I certainly enjoyed making it. If you are a big subscriber, thank you for continuing to support. If you're a puppy dog, please teleport. 
If you found my facts, then please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends. Don't hit your head on trees as you're walking in third person. Check out the links to the other survivors in the description below. If you're already a survivor, I'll see you on the server. If you're not a survivor, consider joining the Paul Source Jr. Patreon server. But no matter who you are, or how many legs and paws you have, I'll catch you in the next episode.